Uh, I think we all know that healthcare uh, and healthcare delivery remain one of the world's great intractable problems. Uh, every nation in the world is uh, struggling. Uh, every nation is facing challenges of, of dealing with uh, rising cost and uh, uh, uneven quality in healthcare. Uh, there have been no shortage of efforts to uh, improve healthcare, to fix healthcare. Uh, to turn the tide in healthcare, uh, but I think it's pretty clear that none of those efforts have actually succeeded, uh, and, 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 and healthcare systems around the world remain on that path of rising cost and une uneven quality. But I think over the last you know five to ten years, we've started to actually see a path forward. We've started to see a strategy for actually changing healthcare and transforming how we think about healthcare and how we deliver healthcare. And this is what we've come to call value-based healthcare delivery. It all starts with the idea that the fundamental goal of any healthcare delivery organization and any healthcare system is value for the patient. Um, and if we're going to succeed at ch changing the trajectory of healthcare, we're gonna have to align everything we do around value for the patient and apply all we know about how to stimulate the innovation and improvement that is necessary to uh, deliver high and rising value. Uh, and in order to do that, we have, we, we have an emerging playbook. It starts with reorganizing care, uh, what we call IPUs, uh, it, uh, and measuring results, uh, both the outcomes uh, for the patient achieves as well as the total cost of delivering those outcomes. Uh, uh, it comes from changing the way we reimburse to really reward value rather than work against it. Uh, it comes from tying together what are now often disparate healthcare organizations and settings and sites into true systems. Uh, and it comes from uh, thinking uh, uh, powerfully about the role of information technology in really enabling a new kind of healthcare rather than just automating the siloed practices of the past.